If it's Tuesday, it's Down and Dirty Woodscraft. Stay with me. Morning, guys. All right, today we're doing a quick modification to a piece of gear that a lot of us have. Now, I am about to start doing the thing developing my packs again, going through all the idea. So I'm starting at the bottom, and I'm thinking about haversacks. And it, we are woods crafters. We take what we got and we make what we need. Okay. I have had for quite a while now. I got at the Pathfinder gathering from Mr. Moody a Pathfinder type of haversack. Now there are several companies that make this basic same design of haversack. It's just a flap and etc. And I've always enjoyed this design, and I like the fact that it is so small and compact, and you can fold it up to nothing and put it in top of a larger pack to carry it as you're using bag or whatever. But I've wanted to do a simple couple of modifications to it, and that's what we're going to discuss right quick. Now, the first one is the strap. I've already talked about this in other videos, but it's how to make this strap adjustable. And all that is is that buckle. Now, like I said, I've talked about this before. And all this is is just a simple buckle like you can get at the craft store. This particular one has to be out of a uh, old M16 sling. You double the strap in half, go through both halves, cinch it up to the, to the length you want, and then you fold that extra tab over and stick it back through the bottom rung of it. Now you've made an adjustable strap for it. My second modification, and this is the one that I would recently did. Added a zipper. Now what it is, is this top flap is just simply a piece of material that's been folded over and sewed up the size. It makes a pretty good pocket. The problem with it is, is whenever I'm wearing it, and if I go to lift up, guess what? Everything falls out of that pocket. Unless it's something like a bandana or something I can grip. Well, I wanted it a little more secure so I could put certain items in this top. I don't want to put big, huge, bulky items, but I would like to put some items in there and have it not just fall out when I pick it up. So, I went down to my uh, local whatnot store for where you got sewing stuff and bought a ready-made zipper. I just simply measured how long I need. I think it was nine inches or something like that. And it is not exactly big enough. You notice I got a little gap on either end that's fine because the stuff I'm going to put in here is not going to be real teeny teeny tiny. It's just going to be stuff that won't slide out that, okay? Now I can lift it up, unzip, and I have a pocket up there to put whatever I need into it and close it up. Now, the final little modification I've made. I've taken a piece of bank line and taking that piece of bank line, I've tied a knot in each end, a short piece, and then I have whipped stitched it into this corner as you can see. That makes just a little bitty hardened loop. I have several pieces of gear that I put onto a lanyard. Let's say, for example, this little um, ferro rod. I can now take that loop right there, stick the loop lanyard through it, put the rod or whatever through it, Pull it up, just like that, and now it's attached to my bag. It's something, whatever it is, I can pull out, use, and then I can throw back in. I don't have to hunt it. So that whenever this is closed, I can simply reach my hand under the flap, go to that front corner, and pull it out without having to hunt for it. This allows me to put multiple pieces of small gear of that flashlight, that ferro rod, my water purification straw, my whatever it is, if I want to be a fish out quickly, this is how I can do it. Also by putting them on these lanyards like this, um, these loops of bank line, um, I, not necessarily for the haversack, but I've used it a lot with this haversack, or these types of haversacks. I just take it off like that. Now, when I'm wearing the sack, and I determine that I'm going to need this a lot in the next few minutes, okay? I bring it out, I take it, and I go to the strap up here. 
just like that. And it's going to be there. So now I can bring out and put on them a strap for whatever it is I'm using. Let's say a Mora or, or one of those little um, small neck knives by Mora. Whatever, I can hook it right here because I'm going to be using it a lot in the next few minutes. And when I'm done with it, I can unhook it and slide it back into my pack. This gives me a whole lot more versatility. So, in conclusion, modify the bag to what you need. But all it took to modify this was a buckle, which is available wherever you get sewing supplies, a zipper, which is available wherever you get sewing supplies, and a couple pieces of bank line. And that's it. And with this, I've got a whole lot more versatility. Now, let's talk about how that zipper is put in right quick, because I know you're going to ask that. All I did was the zipper itself comes with a fabric edge on it on both sides. I simply took one edge, lined it all up, stuck it up underneath like this, and I began sewing along that edge all the way to the end. When I got to the end, I crossed over, laid the zipper out flat onto a piece of material, onto the uh, deck, this is the flap, and just sewed straight through the top all the way through the back. So now it's just a line of stitches right there. That's it. A simple, easy project that you can do that will greatly give you more versatility. Hope this gives you some ideas. Please leave any questions or comments below. And as always, thank you very much for supporting my channel. Till next time, I'm Blackie, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.